Hey folks, here's what's working for me right now uh, and where I'm getting some decent benchmarks on things like Cinebench and, um, and Geekbench. So uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to get my thermals down, which is an issue, but here's what's working for me right now. Uh, in the Asus BIOS, go ahead and hit F7 and go into the advanced mode. You want to go into AI Tweaker, <clears throat> and some of the things you want to change in here that, that are at least working for me right now are AI Overclock Tuner. Change that. It's, it's, if it's set up as Auto in your system, go ahead and set it up as DOCP, and that should recognize your RAM. And you can see my RAM is clocked at 1822, 2242. Um, I haven't had much luck in changing the timings on my RAM and getting the getting the motherboard to post, so that's been an issue for me. But other things I've I've had good, uh, pretty good success with. Some of the other things that um, memory frequency, make sure that's lined up with what you want it to be. If you want to underclock it to 30, uh, 32 or something like that, or, uh, I'm clocking mine to 36 because that should be where my <clears throat> my chip is. And then you want to do the fabric at one half of the your memory frequency right there. So put that, set that at 1800. Uh, for me, at least 1800. If you've got 32, set it uh, 3200 DDR RAM uh, megahertz RAM. Then set your fabric here at, at 1600. So I'm going to leave mine at 1800 there. And then um, in the Precision Boost Overdrive. Um, I took it off of auto and put it to manual and I saw uh, some settings that were working were 300, 230, and then 230. The 300 for your PPT limit, the 230 for your TDC limit, and then 230 for your EDC limit. And then also while you're in this uh, AIT Tweak Precision Overboost Drive menu, uh, go to Precision Overboost Scaler and then hit change that from auto to manual and I put mine at four times and that has been pretty good for me that's gotten me the best results so far when I've been trying to get get results out of the computer by benching it a little bit to see where I'm at um, I haven't messed with any of the timings they just they are what they are the other thing I, I have going on in this menu is that um, I have the the CPU voltage, which is the VDDCR, if you're working with the ASUS mo motherboard, it's the VDDCR CPU voltage. I have that in offset, and I have it at uh, negative. It should be uh, 0 0.08. So I have mine at negative 0 0.08 on that one. That's been getting me pretty good results. That's just set up the way, as soon as you you recognize the, it recognizes what kind of RAM you have up there usually goes to 1.35 I have not messed with the the sock voltage at all uh, the other things on this are normal now because I have the ASUS tough motherboard one of the issues I had was that I didn't realize that it didn't automatically recognize the uh, the video card when I put that in there my GPU so um, go to onboard here it is once you're in advanced under the advanced tab from AI tweaker to advanced there you want to go to onboard device configuration and then go and see uh, make sure that you're in there P should be uh, PCIe 16 underscore one mode is what it's going to look like over here on the left and then for me uh, put in gen 3 and that will recognize your PCIe 3 and there's a way to check that uh, I show it to you in another video when I show it show you how to enable that particular thing but um, that's something that if you don't know and you plug it in and you think it's going to work it's not going to work or there's a good chance it's not going to work and mine certainly didn't it was just at 1.1 until I, I checked it out and then got it cranked up to 3 so anyway so those are the tweaks that I've got so far um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit this and we'll see it post and I'll go to Cinebench and we'll see what happens here So, all right, here we are back in, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to 
go ahead and open up the hardware monitor here. So 4865, that's a little bit below what I did uh, a little bit earlier, 4906, but still, you know, pretty well in the same ballpark. And with Cinebench, that's, you know, honestly, it's not the most accurate, but it gives you a good idea of, you know, where you're benching right about then. So anyway, that's the video. Those are the settings that are working for me. If you guys have comments or some other settings that are working for you, particularly timings, I'd be interested to know what they are. I have not had any luck using um, any of the timing calculators to really efficiently do it. I do not have a B, uh, B side, B die, so um, yeah, I've just kind of like been kind of floundering in that department. But anyway, good luck, guys. Thanks.